welcome back to my channel. My name is Rosanna and I'm so happy you are here. We're gonna do just a little bit of shopping, walking around downtown, and maybe grabbing a little bit of food. Oh, Montclair. Yeah. It's really technical. Yeah. This is Montclair. I love this. I like how this is like you can separate it. I didn't know Nike made Vortex stuff. Nike is a new thing. Oh, that's so cool. That one is so funky. The colors. I'm actually not a huge fan of any of the colors right now. This is probably my favorite. I still like that Vapor Max, and I like this like kind of fuzzy interior. We just went into Montclair and I loved that furry jacket that I tried on. They did tell me that the company is phasing out fur. So they're doing less and less fur, I guess for like, you know, animal um, cruelty reasons. And it was actually 100% polyester and it was still 2,500 Canadian dollars, but it was really pretty. And I felt like it was like really elevated and I love that it had down in it. Usually when I see like fur jackets, it's not actually warm, but that one was really cute. And then the other one was that two in one. It wasn't like my favorite and that was like double the price at like 6,000. What did you guys think? I noticed this, but this is a baby designer shop. How cute. I would not dress my kid in Burberry though. Oh my god, it's Burberry. Oh my god, this little sleeper is $280. It's a Versace sleeper. This is size 41. This is a 41? Mm -hmm. What do you think? It fits my wrist real quick. Mm -hmm. And uh, the function of the bracelet? They're a smooth bezel one instead of the fluted. Uh, we do not have. Uh, we have in a different size for the uh, dome bezel, but mm -hmm. doesn't have in size for one at the moment. Mm -hmm. But they also come. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because it has the like the diamonds on the dial too. <laughs> yeah, if it feels comfortable, like where the bubbles go down. And if you like 36, they also have another. Um, Got a free magazine. So we just had an appointment at Rolex and my boyfriend created a profile with his wish list watches. I did not. I feel like there's a lot of money everywhere, so but I would love one. Like I think I would get an oyster steel with a green dial and one day a dream would be like having a full yellow gold with a green face too. I think it's absolutely so classic, but so much money. I think the ones that we were trying on, so we tried out the Submariner um, and the Day Jess, um, and they were like about 19000 just for like the oyster steel. Do you like? I do, but I can't justify like buying more shoes. Oh, 
this is it's uh, another That was Daniel Lee's first collection at Burberry and oh my god the signature pieces there was a bag I don't think I showed you but it was like B so there are like three iconic patterns for his new collection at Burberry the B the horse and the rose and I tried on that rose clutch that was really beautiful it kind of reminds me of like the beautiful Bottega Veneta pouches that he did that made it Bottega literally go to stardom in the last couple of years but the bag that I really like was that slouchy hobo bag like it was so subtle but I what was my favorite part was that horse charm all around it it was so beautiful what do you guys think about his new collection for Burberry I love it I am a fan I am gonna keep looking out for that and I actually really like that hobo bag it is now in my mind especially that fur one with the green tail in the back oh my god and that was part of a separate part of the accessories so you have to buy that part separate okay we are heading out